So from the top right corner, we have these team uh, drop down menu, which lists all the teams that are currently inside Colorizer. So you have access to all these teams. If you want other teams, you can import them right from the application. I'm going to show you this in another video. Um, so if I select um, this team, for instance, Navy, which is a different series. As you see, all the teams are sorted by series. And what I call series is, uh, let's say the classic series has a certain template and the contrast series as it implies, has more contrast. So if you want to work at night, I would go inside the contrast series for sure. And it's getting dark outside, so I'm going to use the <laughs> navy team and colorize. There you have it. So you see, there is a totally different vibe to this team, and which is more adapted to a dark environment. Now that this team is applied, you have this rainbow disc button. Um, you have this rainbow disc button um, indicating so you see now this team is that, th that this navy team is applied the ra rainbow disc indicates that so you can s and you can see that the rainbow disc indicates that the navy has been applied so if I select the Jarvis team then you could work on the Jarvis but you know it's not applied yet, it's not what you're seeing inside Logic, right? Um, so the next button is this gear cog <coughs> button and it's also, sorry, <coughs> it's also a drop down menu it gives you access to four different functions create a new team, when you create a new team it's going to be <coughs> a duplicate of the Logic Pro original team so if you want to work from the ground up on something that looks very similar to Logic then you would create a new team. Now if you duplicate the team, it's going to duplicate whatever team is selected inside the team selector drop down menu. And don't forget, it's not dependent on the currently applied team. So if you have um, the Mayflower team selected, it's going to duplicate the Mayflower, not the Navy team. Right? Next you have delete team. If you do this, you're going to have an alert that tells you if you really want to delete the team. I don't want to want to cancel that. And ultimately you can also rename the team. If you feel these teams should be named differently for you to remember, then you can also do this. So um, in other videos I'm going to talk about other more in-depth functions that you can do with colorizer, much like uh, batch colorizing and uh, importing teams, uh, importing skins, exporting teams. I'm going to also show you the platform when you can get your teams uh, for free, of course. And yeah, so thank you for uh, bearing with me and see you very soon. Bye-bye.